you know, when it comes to Fallout 76, it's weird to think that this game is coming on six years old. And I think it's safe to say that the launch of the game was awful. However, we did get some of Todd Howard's most memorable quotes being 16 times the detail and it just works. But years later and a lot of major updates later, Fallout 76 is in a really good spot. So in this video, we're just going to quickly go through, is this game worth playing in 2024, why I think so, and how I think you guys are going to enjoy it. So I'll start off with the fact that I wouldn't actually really recommend playing this game solo, as the whole of Fallout 76 was built with multiplayer in mind, but if you don't have any friends that want to play, what you can do is you can always just play solo if you wish, or you can create or join a team to play with in a world, because this game is server based and you will always typically have other players on your server. When I play this game I usually just stick to playing solo but the times I have played in the past where I've joined a team or made my own team it has made the game a lot more fun and in Fallout 76 there are so many quests like you've got tons of quests there's loads of characters there's enemies progression there is so much stuff even if it is just junk and scrap that you can loot in the game world and with Fallout 76 being years and years older this point you're not going to have to pay 70 pounds to play it but what's even better than getting the game cheap if you have an xbox game pass subscription because fallout 76 is on xbox game pass however if your internet is rather slow i do recommend putting it on an overnight installation because it's around 96 gig on the xbox and if you like doing a lot of quests making character progression if you like base building because that's a thing in fallout 76 if you like the idea of doing all of that in a wasteland then i highly recommend jumping on this game they are still updating this game to this day, with the latest update actually coming like a few weeks ago. And as I said at the start, it's in a really good spot, a much, much better spot than what it was at launch. And I don't personally play this game too much, but every single time I jump back into the game, I have a lot of fun with it. And that's exactly what games should be made for. That's exactly what you're going to have if you enjoy this style of game. And then just to give you a rough ballpark as to how long you could spend in this game if you enjoy it, if you enjoy the style, you get into the game. When I say you're going to have hours and hours of fun, I mean the main story alone averages around 35 hours. And if you add the extras to it, you're getting at least another 60 hours on top. It's roughly a 100 hour game with story and extras. But if you are a completionist and you want to get absolutely everything in the game done, yeah, there's an average uh, playtime of 350 hours for a completionist. So that gives you a rough sort of idea as to how long you could put into Fallout 76, how much fun you could have with the game, how much exploration there is, the quests, the loot, everything that I've mentioned already in this video. And as I said, the updates for the game are still being released to this day. They've got the game in a much better spot than what it was at launch. The game just essentially keeps getting better and better. So is it worth playing Fallout 76 in 2024? I would absolutely say yes it is. And what we are going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about the game in the comments. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.